Now, I want to talk to my gangbanger family. You make it very difficult for me. Go ahead, say that. In the 60s, we knew who the enemy was. But in 2007, you the enemy. It's black people killing black people. Black people robbing black people. Black people raping black people. I'm talking to you. And I cannot call for retaliation in matters of the slain when you have become the number one slayers of yourself and your own people. But this murder that is going on in our own community makes it difficult for me to make the right and necessary call for your justice. On any given Saturday night in cities across this nation, it's we killing each other. You make it easy for racist police to kill you because you are busy killing yourself. But if you stopped and became a community that respects the life of each other and will protect the life of each other and will protect your women and your girls. And if an enemy of that peace comes in among us, how can I do what is right by you while I watch what you are doing wrong by one another. Half of all murder victims in America are black men. And nine out of ten of those that are murdered are murdered by their own brother or sister. Be like, every oh, they time trying to take your jewelry or some shit? I don't know, but they be like, I be on shit and I'm not. Where I'm from, we like sneaky. Like in LA, it's like they bold. It's like they want you to know. They want you. To, they want to spark a conversation with you first before they get into some shit. Some of them. Some of them might just go crazy. The majority of the times I got into some shit, it was like they just gave they drop up too fast. You feel me? So the second time I got into some shit, it was like was talking loud as shit, wanting me to hear their conversation. And it's like I'm with my peoples. Like I'm with my, my my daughter and my girl. Like why are they talking about this shit? Like. What, this around, like we outside, we on Fairfax. I'm like, man, you know, I already peed the blitz. We out. I'm like, man, we out of here. You feel me? Like we going. My girl, like, no, nah, we. Ain't, what's wrong? I'm like, I'm just going off of the vibes. Like we out. Is, is she peeping the energy? Cause I'm no, coming she to you on peeping. point. Yeah, she ain't peeping. She was thinking That's I'm tripping. About women sometimes, she be thinking man. I'm tripping. So, in a mix of all this, I'm like, no, nah, we out. So she peeped that I'm serious. She like, no, nah, we out. We drive probably like two blocks down the street. She thinking this shit a game. She pull over somewhere else. Like, oh, I wanted to go to. So, ladies and gentlemen, it's your boy Bullis Gotti. You already know what it is. So, this video right here, I'm gonna talk about this whole P and B rock situation that happened out there in Cali. Sad situation. You know what I'm saying? They always say art intimidates, um, imitates life, or they always say your first instinct can be your best instinct, your goodest instinct ever. Look at this, right? PNB Rock was on Academics, right? What was it, last week? And he did an interview with Academics talking about how he almost got lined up in Cali, right? Almost lost his life. They tried to pop smoke him not too long ago, right? And then to fast forward to now that he got pop smoked out there in Cali, which is sad. You know what I'm saying? Like the, the situation that he escaped from came knocking at his door. Going to eat with his girl. And basically, cruddy, cruddy, we're going to keep it real. Cruddy niggas came 
and murdered this man for his jewelry. I don't understand this, right? As a black man, why we, why when we go out to different cities, dudes feel like you wanna, it's like a trophy to rob or kill a rapper. This is crazy, especially in California. Now let's look, right? You saw what happened to Poppy Smoke, right? Pop Smoke did not give up his jewelry, right? And he it cost him his life. PNB Rock was murdered because he didn't want to give up his jewelry. His girlfriend dropped the location where he was at. And then look, he gets murdered at the Roscoe's Chicken and Waffles. Sad. I saw the video, man. That was that was painful to watch. That was painful to watch. That was seriously painful to watch, man. You know what I'm saying? A lot of dudes got to understand, man. Cali. It's like that song. When you hear Pop say, Live and Die in L.A. They had a movie called Live and Die in L.A. You know why they call California the city of angels and all that? And the Live and Die in L.A.? It's because people live and they die in L.A. Okay? I don't got a problem with California. I like California. California's a beautiful place. Beautiful women. You know, um, palm trees. It's it's, 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 it's a chill. It's a chill place. But it can also get dark. You know, especially when you a black man coming out there and you don't know the culture. And the California culture is just... Especially, I'm not going to say all of California. I'm going to say the L.A. culture. The L.A. culture is so ganged out and it's so, like, dudes is thirsty that they'll murder you just just because. You know what I'm saying? I had a conversation. I said, yo, like, I was talking to somebody. I said, yo, in California, man, they'll pull you out your car. They got no bosses. Yeah, they might got, you know... OGs, but they got no bosses. If you're not connected with certain gangs in Cali, you a plate. You a trophy. And PNB Rock, sad to say, he was a trophy to Hungry. I don't know who was the dudes that did it, but it was some Hungry dudes. Quando Rondo and his men got shot at, right? In Cali, in LA, right? Near Beverly Hills, right? Pop Smoke gets killed in the hills. Clarence Avon, wife, was murdered in her house. They don't play in California. It's to the point that it's. I'm gonna tell. I tell everybody this. Get your money in Cali. If you ain't got nowhere, if you ain't living nowhere in Cali, man, get your money in Cali and stay up out of Cali. If you got security, get your security, have your security tight. Because that don't make no sense. A dude went out to eat with his girl and then he gets murdered. What happened to PNB Rock should have never happened. You know what I'm saying? Now, his girl dropped the location, which. That's a no-no. You know what I'm saying? If you learn from Pop Smoke, that's what got him killed. Dropping his location. You know what I'm saying? Him dropping his location ended up having dudes at his door and murder him. And he lost his life. He got murdered dropping his low. They murdered him. Just by dropping his location. Some little cruddy young niggas murdered him. Whoever paid them to do that, they a foul individual. Whoever paid them to do that. But it was some cruddy young niggas from L.A. that did pop derby. And I I do believe, because I think um, P&B Rock was in South Central, if I'm not mistaken. You know what I'm saying? Ever murdered P&B Rock, I bet you any amount of money is... It's one of these gangs that did it. I don't know which gang, but I bet you out of any amount of money, it was a gang. The cool, the Hoovers killed Pop Smoke. 
So we don't know who killed P and B Rock. And you gotta look at it, right? Biggie, Pac both died by the hands of LA gang members. P and B Rock, Pop Smoke, these dudes died in the hands of LA gang members. I think the um the kid Dollar, the rapper Dollar, he died by the hands of a LA gang member. You know what I'm saying? He had an altercation with the dude and the dude murdered him. In Cali. You know about the rapper Dollar. Merlin Santana. He got murdered by LA gang members. See, in LA, they don't care about you being a superstar, celebrity. You get all the baddies. You a fly dude. They don't care about that. You a trophy to them. They got like an animalistic mentality. You know what I'm saying? Like, you think, I always say, you think the dudes in New York and Chicago, but when you go into these cities, like New York, Chicago, and all these places, yeah, rappers get killed in New York. Rappers get killed in Chicago. But it depends. And California, L.A., just L.A. in general, it's a history there of people dying in L.A. It's just a history. It's just a history of the lineup game. The lineup game is something serious in L.A. The lineup game is something serious. You heard, if you ever listened to Reggie Wright um, on, on, on podcast, he talked about how Keith Sweat got lined up. You know what I'm saying? By his own girl who was from L.A., Lisa Wu. So, L.A. just have a history, a natural history. The men and the women is with the lineup game. And, like I said, I got love for L.A. I love Cali. I love I love Cali. I got family in Cali. So, I don't have no issues with California. California is a beautiful place. It got great people there. But if you're dealing with people that have ties with gangs and they not on the up and up, like, say, they money ain't right. You talking about people that's still in the environment. You are dealing with people that are in the setup game that will line you up. Like, I listen to the whack talking about, yo, you know, um, if you got to come out here right, if you coming out here to Cali, but why should anybody black should be coming out there right to come to California? Like, that's ridiculous, man. Like, you mean to tell me you can't even show love to, 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 to California, you can't go out there. Like, what is it with black people when they go out any different city that you got to deal with dudes trying to rob you and kill you? You can't even have a good time going to amazing, going to the city. And this started in the 90s. This started in the 90s. This started during the East and West beef. And it has not stopped. Has not stopped. It's crazy. But that's what it is. It's really crazy, man. That it's been going on since the 90s. This type of mentality. You know what I'm saying? It's never, you know, and I, I'm going to keep it real, man. I always believe that, man. That it's sad that us as a, as a people. That we go through this crabs in a bucket mentality. But you shouldn't have to check in. To go have a good time and go to a place where you got Caucasians that come to California, that be in L.A., they not checking it. They not checking in. But when it comes to us, we got to check in. That's some that's some real crabs in a bucket, Willie Lynch mentality, man. We got to redirect that, man. Because there's too many people dying out here that's being taken away from their family because niggas feel like you got to check in or it's or we dropping you. You got to give up the jewelry or you getting dropped. Like, come on, man. Like, P&B Rock should not be dead right now over some jewelry. You kidding me? You killing somebody over some jewelry? Some jewelry? Some jewelry. It is what it is, man. Like I said, man, R.I.P. to that young brother, man. R.I.P. to him, man. P, uh, you know, prayers up to his family. You know what I'm saying? It, it's, just, it's sad, man. It don't make no sense, man. They murdered that man. 
in cold blood. I saw that video, man. It was painful to watch, man. I ain't gonna lie. That video was painful to watch, man. You know what I'm saying? He was dead. He was lifeless. Like, the soul went out his body. Like, it was no no more fight in him. No more life in him. He was he was finished. Like, they meant to kill that dude for just some jury. So they could pawn that jury, get high, and, 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 and what? You're not going to enjoy that. It's what it is, man. And for them dudes that talk about, yeah, you got to check in when you come out here and all that, that nigga, that nigga mentality, that negativity mess, that's the problem with us. We so doggone stuck on this, you got to do this and do that. Like, come on, man. We shouldn't be living like that as a people. Real talk. That's some, like, like we in times, we in dire times right now as a people, man. You know what I'm saying? We in dire times right now, man. It's crazy, though. But R.I.P. to P&B Rock, man. It's a sad situation, man.